स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज हंड्रेड एंड सेवेंटी फिफ्थ मैथ्स क्लास लेट अस कंटिन्यू सॉल्विंग सेम टाइप ऑफ क्वेश्चंस दैट इज फाइंडिंग टैंजेंट एंड नॉर्मल योर देर इज वन मोर क्वेश्चन लुक एट दैट क्वेश्चन स्टूडेंट्स फाइंड द इक्वेशन ऑफ टैंजेंट टू द कर at the point where it cuts the x axis where it cuts the x axis you take the curve students to find to find tangent and normal all all we need is point and slope first you find out point using the given conditions in the question next you find out the slope so let us think in that way let us think in that way look at this question students solution y equals x minus 7 by x minus 2 into x minus 3 x minus 7 by x minus 2 into x minus 3 I need to apply quotient rule. I should apply quotient rule. Instead of applying quotient rule, you think, you think in this way that differentiation becomes so easy. Look at this one. Bring this this side. That implies y into x minus two x minus three is equal to x minus seven. If I cross multiply. These two terms, this side, applying quotient rule not required. I can easily differentiate that by using the product rule. That is U V W rule. That can be differentiated using the U V W rule. U V W rule. Okay, friends. Differentiate first one. Keep the other two as it is. Differentiate second one. Keep the other two as it is. Differentiate third rule, third function, third function. Keep these two as it is. Let us apply extension of U V rule. You learn that a differentiation of y is dy by dx. dy by dx. You keep these two functions as it is. X minus two, x minus three. Plus, I differentiated y. By keeping these two as it is, now I differentiate x minus two by keeping these two as it is. So y into so differentiation of x is one minus two zero one into x minus three plus. I differentiate the middle one, middle one by keeping these two as it is. Now I differentiate last one. While differentiating the last one. I should keep. I should keep these two functions as it is. Y into so x minus two. Y into x minus two. So into one. So is equal to differentiation of left side is over. Now you think of differentiating right side. X is one minus seven is zero. So this is the rule, students. Differentiation of u v w that is. U by dx into v w plus so u into d v by dx into w plus u v into d w by dx u v into v w by dx. This is the rule I applied for this. Now so let us find point. First let us find point. In the question, it is given the curve cuts x-axis. Curve cuts x-axis. Therefore, y equals zero. So, curve cuts x-axis. So, therefore, y equals zero. Curve is cutting x-axis on x-axis. For every point on x-axis, y coordinate is zero. That you know very well. On x-axis, y value zero. That is y equal zero. Put y equal zero in this instrument. So put y is equal to zero in this. So we will get point. So that implies zero. Y is zero. Zero and everything is zero. Is equal to x minus 
7. So that implies x is equal to 7. So I am getting the point as 7 comma 0. I got the point. Now you substitute this point in this differentiated one. Now let's find out dy by dx at 7 comma 0. Let us find out so dy by dx at 7 comma 0. At this 7 comma 0. So dy by dx into into 7 minus 2 5 into 7 minus 3 4 plus y is 0 y is 0 0 and anything is 0 plus y is 0 0 and anything is 0 is equal to 1 find out dy by dx students so write 20 dy by dx is equal to 1 so bring this down so therefore, m is equal to m is equal to so m is equal to so dy by dx is equal to 1 by 20. We got now we are ready with both the point and slope. Using point and slope, finding tangent is so easy. So tangent is so tangent is so tangent is y minus y1 is equal to m into x minus x1. y minus y1 is equal to m into x minus x1. So we have point 7 comma 0. x1 y1. x1 y1. Put x1 y1. Substitute in that y minus y1 is 0. M, M is 1 by 20. X minus X1 is 7. Cross multiply. So 20Y is equal to X minus 7. 20Y is equal to X minus 7. You send this 20Y right side. That implies X minus 20Y minus 7 is equal to 0. We got tangents equation. Equation of tangent. This is the required equation of tangent. Let us go for finding and solving one more question students. Let us find and solve one more question. Next question is, next question is, So next question is find the so find the equation of equation of all lines all lines having having slope to having a slope to and and being being tangent being tangent to the curve tangent so to the curve tangent to the curve so y plus y plus so 2 y x minus 3 is equal to 0 so find the equation of all lines. Understand it. Try to understand the question carefully students. Find the equation of all lines having slope 2. Lines ke equation maadi anta head kane. A lines ke slope is 2 anta head kane. 2 anta head kane. And being a tangent to the curve. All lines e curve ke head anta head Tangent Sartavayantana. So to final conclusion, that means the final, the final meaning, direct meaning of that question is the direct meaning of that question is we need to find out equations of tangents. That's all. Lines are being 
tangents are there. Lines are being tangents. Means we should find out equations of tangents. Equations of tangents. Let us go for that, students. So easy. To get the tangents equation, all all we need is slope and point. Slope and point. Right. First, let us find out slope. Slope given. Solution. So given. So given. So dy by dx. So m is equal to dy by dx equals two. Slope. We have slope. Let us find out point. Point required. Let's go for finding point. Using this slope, you think of finding points. So write y equals minus two by x minus three. Send this right side. Y equals minus two by x minus three. Apply quotient rule for this. You apply quotient rule for this. So dy by dx is so dy by dx is denominator square. So denominator square x minus three whole square. Apply quotient rule. Denominator square. Denominator into so keep the denominator as it is. Differentiate numerator. Differentiation of minus two is zero. Minus numerator into numerator. How much is numerator? Minus two. Numerator into differentiation of denominator. X is one. Minus three is zero. So divide by x is zero. Minus or minus plus two. So two by x minus three whole square. So two by x minus three whole square. Now, so dy by dx means m. Here we got dy by dx value has been given. Dy by dx value is being given. This is what we are doing. Other than that, so that implies. Substitute for dy by dx. How much is dy by dx? Two. So two equals two by x minus three whole square. Two to get cancels. That implies x minus three whole square is equal to one. So that implies x minus three is equal to plus or minus root one. If I send the square right side, it becomes root. That to plus or minus. X square equals y means x square equals y means x value should be plus or minus root y. X square equals y. That implies x equals plus or minus root y. You follow that? Look at this student. So here I am adding. Here I am adding both plus and the minus. That means we will get. Surely we will get two points. First, you take first equation, find out one of the x value. You take minus equation, find out other x value. So that implies x minus three is equal to one. So implies x is equal to four. X is equal to four. One more x value. X minus three is equal to minus one. So that implies x is equal to minus three that side plus three. Three minus one two, so three minus one two. We are getting two x values. Using these two x values, let us find out two points. At x is equal to four, x is equal to four. Calculate y value. There is y. So y equals minus two y. Minus two y. X is four. Four minus three one. So minus two. The point is. The point is. Four comma minus two. The point is four comma minus two. One more x value. X is equal to so two. X is equal to two. So y equals y equals minus two by x is two. Two minus three minus one. Minus one is plus. It is two. One more point is so two comma two. One more point is two comma two. So now we are adding. Now we are adding both slope and point. Using both slope and point, let us find tangents. Equations of 
tangents. Only tangents are asked. Normals are not asked. Keep that in mind. So I find tangent. So tangent is. So tangent is y minus y one is equal to m into x minus x one. Y minus y one is equal to m into x minus x one. For the first to take point. Four comma minus two slope two m equals to substitute substitute both so y y one is minus two plus two m is two x minus x one is four x minus x one is four y plus two is equal to two x minus eight send this to right side. So 2x minus y minus 8 minus 20. So 2x minus y minus 10 equals 0. We got tangent. Still we have one more point. So one more point. Tell me that one more point is right, sir. So the one more point is 2 comma 2. So 2 comma 2. Slope is slope. Slope. Same slope. So for for both the tangents, slope is same. For both the tangents, slope is same. Let us write one more tangent. Y minus y one is equal to m into x minus x one. So x one y one. Y minus y one is two. Two into x minus two multiply by two. Y minus two equals two x minus four. Send this to right side. So two x Minus y minus four plus two zero. So write two x minus y minus two equals zero. So totally, so we got two tangents. So here we are getting two tangents. So let us solve one more question of the same type, students. Let us solve one more question of the same type. Find the so find the equations of. Next question. Find the equation of all lines. Find the equation of all lines having slope having slope minus one that are tangents to the curve. So that are tangents to the curve. Tangents to the curve. So y equals one by x minus one. Y is equal to one by x minus one. So let us solve. Same question, students. You go for solving that. You go for solving that. So right. Let us solve the first solution. So minus one. So right solution. Slope given. Slope given. Solution. So dy by dx is equal to y is equal to dy by dx is equal to minus one. So differentiate this. So dy by dx. dy by dx apply quotient rule students you apply quotient rule denominator square x minus 1 whole square so denominator square denominator into differentiation of numerator so denominator has been kept as it is so denominator into differentiation of 1 differentiation of 1 is 0 so minus numerator numerator into Differentiation of denominator. Differentiation of x is one and minus one is zero. So right. Apply just apply Gaussian rule. So right. So dy by dx equals so minus one by x minus one whole square. Dy by dx is equal to so minus one by x minus one whole square. 
now this dy by dx value is being given how much is dy by dx value minus 1 minus 1 is equal to minus 1 by x minus 1 and whole square so simplify this thing. this implies it on both sides minus 1 minus 1 becomes a plus x minus 1 whole square is equal to 1 multiply both sides by minus multiply both sides by minus 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 becomes plus so that implies x minus 1 is equal to plus or minus root 1 is 1 plus or minus root 1 is 1 I hope you are understanding students first you take this plus equation find out one of the x value next you take minus equation find out one more x value so let us do that x minus 1 is equal to 1 so that implies x is equal to send minus on right side 1 plus 1 2 1 plus 1 2 next one more x minus 1 is equal to minus 1 so that implies so x is equal to send minus 1 right side 1 minus 1 0 so I am getting two x values for these two x values let us find out y values x equals to so at x equals to at x equals to y value how much is y students y is equal to 1 by 2 minus 1 so that is 1 by 1 1 so I am getting first point first point is 2 comma 1 we have one more x value at x is equal to 0 x is equal to 0 find y value so y is equal to 1 by 0 minus 1 that is minus 1 one more point is 0 comma minus 1 0 comma minus 1 we got two points now let us find out tangents at these points let us find tangents at these two points so first one at so slope is m is equal to minus 1 so point is 2 comma 1 so 2 comma 1 write the tangent for write the tangent for these two quantities tangent is y minus y1 is equal to m into x minus x1 that is y minus y1 is 1 m is minus 1 x minus x1 is 2 multiply by minus y minus 1 is equal to minus x plus 2 bring that this side so y minus 1 plus x minus 2 0 write that in order x plus y minus 3 is equal to 0 so we have one more point you write one more tangent students you write one more tangent so you write one more tangent so tell me next point next point is so 0 comma minus 1 slope as usual minus 1 slope is same for both so right is minus 1 now write tangent equation so y minus y1 is equal to m into x minus x1 so right point so y minus y1 is y1 is minus 1 plus 1 x1 y1 m slope is minus 1 x minus x1 is 0 so y plus 1 minus x bring that x in this side x plus y plus 1 equals 0 this is one more tangent we got two tangent students let us solve one more question of the same type so okay thank you students we shall discuss in the next class